Hello students, in this video we are going to discuss the redox reaction in terms of electron transfer. As we have already discussed some of the definition for oxidation and reduction reaction. So in this video we are going to discuss an definition for oxidation and react reduction reaction in terms of transfer of electron. As you are already familiar with this equation, these are the redox reaction that is sodium plus chlorine giving rise to sodium chloride, sodium plus oxygen giving rise to sodium oxide, sodium plus sulfur giving rise to sodium sulfide. So these are the quite familiar reactions. So let us discuss how these reactions are called as a redox reaction. That means which one is the oxidation and which one is the redox reaction in these. So let us first discuss for the first equation that is sodium plus chlorine giving rise to sodium chloride. In this equation the sodium is converted into sodium ion because NaCl means Na plus Cl minus that means Na is converted into Na plus. So just rewrite this equation that is Na is giving rise to Na plus but Na is giving rise to Na plus with the loss of electron. That means here twice Na is taken that means single Na is converted into Na plus that is it forming a positive charge with the loss of one electron. So that's why it's twice Na will give rise to twice Na with the loss of two electron. As one sodium atoms so one sodium atom is converted into sodium ion with the loss of one electron. That's why when we balance this one we will be getting twice Na is giving rise to twice Na plus with two electron. Now in this equation here there is chlorine because chlorine is converted into chloride ion. That means Cl is converted into Cl negative and that is due to the gain of electron as you have already learned this one that is a, an atom is converted into negatively charged ion with a gain of electron that means here it will gain electron. So that can be represented by this equation in this way that is a, the chlorine with gain of electron giving rise to chloride ion as because the chlorine is existing in the nature of Cl2 form that is diatomic form. So it is written here Cl2 and a single chlorine will accept a single electron to form a single chloride ion but here Cl2 is there that's why we need to take twice the electron then only we getting the twice chloride ion. So this equation is written as chlorine plus two electron giving rise to twice chloride ion. Now here we got two equation. This equation that is nothing but this equation we have splitted into two. This equation when we make the sum of this equation just make the sum of LH side and RH side in that case the two electron two electron get cancelled. So what is remaining here that is twice Na that is this twice Na on the LH side plus chlorine and as two electron is already cancelled and what is on the right hand side that is twice Na plus and twice Cl negative that is all together we can write this as twice NaCl. So what actually we have got here we got the same equation so that is this two equation are actually the half reaction of this reaction that is twice Na plus Cl2 is giving rise to twice NaCl. So for this reaction we can split this reaction into two half reaction that is first is this one second is this one. So when you look at in this equation that is in the half reactions here in the first step there is a loss of electron that you can see here there is loss of electron that is sodium is converted into sodium ion with the loss of electron. This process where there is loss of electron is called as 
oxidation and the reaction in which there is a gain of electron as here there is one gain of electron therefore we can call this reaction as the reduction reaction so we come up with a new definition for oxidation that is the loss of electron that reaction is called as oxidation and the reaction in which there is a gain of electron that reaction is called as a reduction reaction so what we call the sum of these two equation because the first equation is oxidation and the second equation is reduction the sum of the two the these two equations that is a sum of oxidation and reduction that reaction is called as redox reaction that means this reaction is the redox reaction so we already started with this equation that is i told you this is a example of redox reaction so how it comes a redox reaction that is when you split the equation into equations that is oxidation and reduction so it is clear that oxidation is taking place here and reduction is also taking place that means this reaction is redox reaction so in the same way you need to split the other two equations as already i st started with this equation so this equation we have split it into two similarly you can try the other two also this and this also you try it in the same way split this into two equation that is oxidation reaction and reduction reaction which is called as half reactions and when you make the sum of this you will be getting this so, so both the these two examples you try it by yourself now we come up with the two definitions that is we come up with the new definition of oxidation and reduction that is uh, oxidation is called as the loss of uh, electron that reaction is oxidation and reduction is the reaction in which there is a gain of electron so it is uh, suggests that uh, the half reactions that involve uh, loss of electron are called as oxidation reaction similarly the half reactions that involve the gain of electrons are called as reduction reactions so this is uh, the very important definition of oxidation and reaction reduction reaction that is usually used so this definition is the most useful definition in order to identify the oxidation and reduction reactions so here the oxidation we can say the loss of electron by any species is called as oxidation and reduction is the gain of electron by any species so in that case uh, we need to come up with the two new definitions uh, that is for oxidizing agent and reducing agent the substance uh, which uh, is the acceptor of electron or we can say that uh, which is uh, help in the oxidation is called as oxidizing agent and the substance which uh, is the donor of electron that means which help in the reduction is called as a reducing agent so here we come up with the definition for oxidizing agent and reducing agent so let us uh, discuss what is oxidizing agent and reducing agent for a particular equation when we take an example that is the same example we are taking here that is sodium plus chlorine is giving rise to sodium chloride here this is a reduction and oxidation both is taking place in this that means it is a redox reaction so instead of splitting here we will write directly here that is from sodium metal to sodium ion there is a loss of two electron here that is because two sodium is converted into so two sodium ion that means here there is loss of two electron and in the second step uh, that is uh, here the chlorine is converted into chloride ion with a gain of electron so in this uh, where is the oxidation where is the reduction the reaction in which there is loss of electron that is called as oxidation that means uh, the sodium to sodium ion that is an oxidation and uh, the gain of electron uh, that reaction is called as reduction that means the 
chlorine to chloride chloride ion is called as reduction so this is the best method to identify the oxidation and reduction in this way so better you can write here in this way you can write here there is a loss of electron therefore it is oxidation here there is a gain of electron therefore it is a reduction so here the sodium is get oxidized we can say that sodium is oxidized and chlorine is reduced but which one is helping in the oxidation that is called as oxidizing agent so here oxidizing agent is the acceptor of electron that means here which one is the donor of electron here because na is the donor of electron so na sodium is the donor of electron and chlorine is the acceptor of electron so just identify here which one is an oxidizing agent and which one is a reducing agent here here the chlorine is the acceptor of electron therefore chlorine is acting as oxidizing agent here that means which help in the oxidation but it self is undergoing the reduction but help in the oxidation therefore it is called as the agent for oxidation that is the oxidizing agent don't get confused here chlorine is undergoing reduction that means it is undergoing reduction but it act as oxidizing agent but what about the reducing agent according to the definition the donor of electron is the reducing agent here who is donating the electron that is na is donating the electron therefore sodium is the reducing agent so don't get confused the sodium is undergoing oxidation but it help in the reduction by donating the electron therefore it is acting as a agent for reduction therefore it is called as reducing agent so it is very clear from this equation that is which is undergoing oxidation that act as a reducing agent and which one is undergoing reduction that act as a oxidizing agent so here you can try this equation in the same way you can try for the other two equations also just identify the oxidation and reduction for these two reactions separately and identify which one is an oxidizing agent and which one is reducing agent in this so all of you you need to do this in the same way how i have done for the previous example that is for the first example now there are some displacement reaction from this we can also identify oxidation and reduction reaction on the basis of electron transfer you are familiar with this equation that is a displacement reaction that is zinc displaces the copper ion from the copper sulfate solution you have learned this equation already so in this equation when you look at here zinc is converted into zinc ion that you can see from this equation zn is converted into zn2 positive that means zinc is giving rise to zinc ion with the loss of two electron as you have already familiar with this if someone is losing the electron it form the positively charged ion so here two positive charge is formed that means it loses the two electron so here there is release of two electron or we can say there is a loss of two electron then it forms zinc ion but the two electron which is lost here is gained by the copper ion copper ion that is cu2 plus is the copper ion so the electron which is donated by the zinc is accepted by the copper ion that means it gains the two electron and it form copper how it comes because the copper ion having two positive charge it gains two electron that means plus two electron giving rise to copper so this here is actually there is a gain of electron here that's why the positively charged ion is converted into neutral 
in simple words the two positive and two negative get cancelled so what we got here copper so in this reaction we can easily identify the oxidation and reduction because where is the loss of electron is taking place that is from zinc to zinc ion there is a loss of electron so this is the oxidation reaction and from copper ion to copper that is gain of electron is taking place therefore this reaction is a reduction so it is very easy to identify the oxidation reaction and uh, you need to split the equation how i told uh, you need to split the equation so you can write uh, the oxidation reaction separately that is which one is the oxidation reaction zn2 zn2 plus is the oxidation reaction so i am writing here zn is giving rise to zn2 plus plus two electrons so here there is a loss of electron while writing the equation when you are writing the electron on the right hand side it means that there is a loss of electron that is on the product side so this equation is uh, the oxidation reaction if you write the reduction reaction how we write the reduction reaction that is uh, the copper ion is converted into copper so how we write this reaction that is cu2 plus will gain the two electron that is plus two electron giving rise to copper so that means when the electrons are returned on the left hand side that is on the reactant side it means that gain of electron so this reaction is the reduction reaction and both the oxidation and reduction reaction when you make the sum of this uh, the two electron two electron get cancelled so what you will be getting you will be getting this equation that is nothing but the redox reaction let us take one more example that is also a displacement reaction where the copper displaces the silver ion from the solution so here the copper is formed copper is giving rise to copper ion but the silver ion is giving rise to silver so which one is the oxidation and which one is the reduction that is in the first case here there is a loss of electron that is the cu is giving rise to what is giving rise to cu is giving rise to cu2 plus like this so that is due to the loss of electron that is to electron and what about the reduction this is an oxidation so reduction that is the next equation the silver ion is converted into silver that means ag plus will gain single electron why because ag have one positive that means it require one electron then it form ag but here in the equation in order to balance the number of electron we have to take twice when we are taking twice we have to take twice all the side so the two electron two electron get cancelled so whenever we are making the sum of this one the number of electron donated by one of the species and the number of electron gained by the species another species must be equal so that can be equalized by taking twice here so this equation once again i will rewrite here so the oxidation reaction that is a cu is giving rise to cu2 plus plus 2 electron and reduction is a, that is ag plus electron it gains one electron to form ag in this equation when you make the sum here it is twice electron and here it is one electron in the first equation two electron in the second equation one electron so it should be balanced that's why you will have to multiply this with the two here why we are multiplying with two because uh, the number of electron lost by one species and the gain by the other species should be equal here there is two electron here there is single electron so how we can equalize this one by multiplying with two so when we multiply with the two now the number of electron is equal but you have to multiply the whole equation of that is the second equation whole you have to multiply with two so what will be getting the product here that means what you getting the sum here the two electron two electron get cancelled so now what is remaining here that is a single copper here 
and here it become 2 ag plus why it become 2 ag plus because we have multiplied with 2 giving rise to next on the reactant side over next is the product side so be careful when you are writing here the reactant side should be written together should be made sum together product side product side should be done together on the product side there is a copper ion that is cu2 plus and there is a ag but how much ag 2 ag is there because you have multiplied with 2 here so this is nothing but uh, what we have this equation that is uh, this equation so this is what the equation we got so in this way you need to split the equation and while splitting the equation you should be careful that uh, where should write the electron if the electron is on the left hand side that is on the side left hand side on the arrow mark it shows that there is a gain of electron when there is a gain of electron electron should be written on the left hand side and if there is a loss of electron then the electron should be written on the right hand side of the equation that is on the product side so that you need to remember and whenever you are splitting the equation the number of electrons should be made same in both the equation by multiplying with suitable number one more equation we have in the text that is co cobalt displaces the nickel sulfate solution that is displaces the nickel line from the nickel sulfate solution so it gives rise to cobalt ion with nickel here also loss of electron that is co is converted into co2 plus that is by loss of electron so this is a oxidation and here there is a gain of electron therefore this is a reduction so you have to split this equation in the same way how i discussed the previous one so by this way we come up with the definition already we have discussed some definition that is in the terms of oxygen in terms of electronegative element in terms of hydrogen in terms of electropositive element and in terms of electron transfer that is this definition we have learned it now in this video that is loss of electron is called as oxidation and the gain of electron is called as reduction now one more definition we need to discuss of for the oxidation and reduction that is in terms of oxidation number that will be discussing in the next videos so all of you do the exercise uh, do this equations split this equation which i told in this video so this is all about this video have a nice day